Thanks for tuning in to this tutorial by Emacs USA. Today we're going to show you how to get your new Tiny Hawk Bind and Fly ready to work with your existing Tiny Hawk RTF kit, which will involve dumping the CLI information from the RTF kit to our Bind and Fly Tiny Hawk. The first thing that we're going to do is start on our website, emacs-usa.com. We're going to navigate to our drone section and find our Tiny Hawk RTF listing. We're going to click on our listing, and we're going to scroll down until we see the download button. Now this download button is going to bring you to our Tiny Hawk RTF CLI dump, where you're going to copy and paste the entirety of this document and paste it to the CLI in Betaflight. Now that we've located our CLI dump for the Tiny Hawk RTF, we're going to connect our Tiny Hawk Bind and Fly unit to the PC using a micro USB cable. The micro USB port is located behind the camera. Once the Tiny Hawk has connected, you should hear a ding from your computer, and Betaflight should be showing COM3 in ports. We're going to connect to Betaflight. Click on our CLI tab on the left. And in the command prompt, we're going to paste what we just copied from our Tiny Hawk RTF CLI dump. You'll see save as the last line, and then we're going to hit enter. This will write all the Tiny Hawk RTF Tiny Hawk settings onto this particular bind and fly model, and we'll get it ready for our RTF kit. This should take just a moment. Once the CLI dump has completed, the Tiny Hawk will reboot and it will be ready for binding with your Tiny Hawk RTF E6 transmitter. Our first step will be to locate our bind button on the Tiny Hawk BNF. To locate the bind button, I take my Tiny Hawk, flip it directly away from me, and the bind button will be under the bottom left corner towards you. You can see where my finger is pointing, it's directly under my finger here. Um, you can use your finger to press down on the plastic, and you'll hear the bind button engage. Please test this before plugging in the LiPo and make sure that you can engage this button properly before getting ready to plug it in. So the first thing we'll do is hold our thumb on our bind button, secure our balance lead, however you may, with your index finger or middle finger, and we're going to be holding down the plastic with the bind button as well as plugging in our 1S LiPo at the same time. We can now let go of the Tiny Hawk, and now your green light will be on for the transmitter, indicating that it's ready to be bound. We're now going to turn on our transmitter. And to put our transmitter into binding mode, we're going to hold both the trim down buttons at the same time. If you hear a beep when pressing these buttons, it means that you engage the trim and you're not in binding mode yet. When you press down both buttons at the same time, you should hear no beeps. Hold these buttons down for four seconds. Release the buttons and your Tiny Hawk transmitter should now be in binding mode. We're going to move the transmitter a little bit further away from our Tiny Hawk to make sure that we're not flooding our Tiny Hawk receiver with RF signal. And now we can see on our Tiny Hawk that we are getting a red flashing LED as well as a solid green LED. That indicates that the binding has been successful. We can now unplug our 1S LiPo, bring our transmitter closer and turn this off. And now we'll ensure that this is bound to the transmitter. Powering the Tiny Hawk, you should not see any green lights on. And once the transmitter has been powered, you should see a flickering green light from our receiver. This indicates that the binding has been completed. 
Thanks for watching this tutorial by Emacs USA. If this video was helpful for you, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more information and product announcements. Please also take a look at our Instagram and our Facebook for even more information and exciting products from Emacs USA.